Welcome back everyone. Today is Christmas Eve 2024 and my name is Perry. If you're new here, this is the Scow Bow Mini Cruiser sailboat that I'm building. It is constructed of PVC foam core between fiberglass skins. This is the foam sandwich construction method. Basically my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. And I'm continuing my work on the buoyancy arch of the boat. I made the horizontal wing portion of it and I just finished applying fairing filler, letting that cure, and then sanding it smooth. If you're unfamiliar with what this does, basically it's a large volume of air and foam that if the boat turned turtle, was upside down, it would be acting to quickly right the boat and get it at least to the mast pointing at the horizon. And then at that point, the lead at the end of the keel and all the gear and water stored down low in the boat work to provide the rest of that riding moment to get the boat upright again. On a small boat like this, it's very helpful to keep the boat from even going past mass point at the horizon any further down than that. So what I'm looking at doing over the next week or so is fiberglassing that wing portion. Also, I'm going to cut out of G10. This is three millimeter or about eighth an inch G10. I'm gonna cut a couple brackets out of it to hold the main sheet. So one bracket will go on the port side of the wing and the other will go on the starboard side and then there'll be a line between and then the main sheet block will be allowed to slide between the two. If you are new here, please make sure you do subscribe, follow along on the build and future sailing adventures. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Here you can see the G10 pad eye I'm about to make placed on the side of the buoyancy arch. And this gives you a closer look. I'll use the router to remove three millimeters of foam so that these can sit flush in the ends of the wing. And of course we'll get matching paint on there. I've been playing around in Fusion 360 adding the pole for the light and radar reflector as well as the self-steering mechanism so here's a little peek at that. I use this model to generate plans for cutting out my pad eyes. Once I had the dimensions I drew them out on my sheet of G10. We're going to make two of these, so I'm just going to double layer them.
comes with a glossy surface. I sand this off so that the epoxy can better adhere to both sides when I attach it. All right, as you can see, my G10 brackets are complete. And I gave the I gave them a sanding so that they'll uh, epoxy on easily. And the method I'm going to use to attach these to the buoyancy arch is drill four three eighths inch holes into the side of the buoyancy arch, and then bed these bolts in with thickened epoxy. And then I made sure it's flush here because I'll fiberglass over this completely with a few layers that wrap around the back of the buoyancy arch. That way the load of the main sheet pulling on here will be spread out onto the whole buoyancy arch. I want these pad eyes to sit beautifully flush with the ends of the wing, so I'm carefully using my router to remove three millimeters of foam. Now to prepare for adding carbon fiber to the ends, I radius the edges with some sandpaper. Thank you. 
我是 Kable， 说 Kable。Well, that's one side of the buoyancy arch wing carbon fibered. Uh, I don't figure I need to show you the other side because if all goes well, it'll be exactly the same thing. I don't actually think the next video will be about the buoyancy arch build because I've had to order six ounce cloth, pew ply, and most importantly, nine more yards of carbon fiber. It was really important to me to make this whole buoyancy arch out of carbon fiber because it's a higher component. I want it to be very lightweight, so I'll have to look for something else to work on for the next one. Maybe get started on the rudder. Who knows? But I want to give a special thank you to Jeff W, who sent me off the Amazon wish list both an anchor light and an inflating camping pillow, and Russ K, who sent me parts for a DIY composting toilet that he created. His website is a one and a two dot com. I'll put it down in the description. But that may come in use on the boat. If you'd like to really help out the project, and it'd be much appreciated after that bill on the、uh, carbon fiber. You can make donations through PayPal or join Patreon.、Uh, Patreon members get to see videos one full day in advance. And if nothing else, please drop a like on the video, leave a friendly comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Support us to make all preparations for getting underway. Hey, what's that? Home. Come and get back to your station, or I'll have you shot from the air. Well, shoot some.